a half section. A half section is really a half of a full section, or it's a quarter of the object cut away. So, hey, I didn't make the names, but you have to learn them too. So a half section is really a quarter of the hunk of the object uh, taken away. It's used for symmetrical objects. Here we have a symmetrical object, and we're going to take a quarter out of this. So 25% is going to be removed. So to set this up, we're going to go into our Layout tab. We need to remove the floating viewport as a rule. And then we're going to go up to our Layout tab. We're going to put in our base uh, view. So I do the base view from Model Space, and I make sure the type when I do this is base only. I only want the base for these sections. So I'm going to place that a little higher up so we can see well. And I place that in, and I'll say, OK, we'll take that. And there we have it. All right? Now, what I want to do is I want to create a half section on this. I'm going to go up to our section. I'm going to go down and pick the option for half section. So section view half. I pick the parent view. I pick on that. And we say, OK, now specify the start point. Um, we're going to put, like, make sure we have our ortho mode on, but I'm not going to be all that particular about how I pick this. You're probably wondering, how do you know it's halfway? Well, I essentially don't. I'll come down and pick here, and I'll come across and pick here. And the reason why I don't worry about it is it's real easy to adjust later. It's easier to not worry about it. Then I'm going to come along and I'm going to place my right side, uh, my section view in the right view over here. So I pick and then and say, OK, how do we want to see this? Do we want to see it as hidden lines, right? Um, do we want to see it with, you know, shaded with visible lines? How do you, I'm just going to go with, um, we'll go with just hidden lines. That's fine for now. And now I'm going to say, OK, all right? And bing, we just created uh, our first section view, AA. And you can see a quarter of it is taken out. So we have the object over here, and we have a quarter of it uh, taken out. Now, I could pick on it and pick on the frame. And I could come over here and say, well, let's go shaded with the visible edges. OK? And then I can come up here and hit OK. Maybe that helps you see it. Now, I'm seeing it as I normally were on the bottom half, but the top half is where I have it cut out. So I came along, and I'm looking, I'm looking from right to left at this object. If I was standing on the right side looking this way to the left, and I cut that hunk out so you can see that. Now, we do have, when I click on this, let's click on this here. We come up here, we can change the hidden lines, etc., our scale, um, and our identifiers if it's AA or B, you know, type thing. It's just A and, you know, half scale, by the way. I can show the hatching, not show the hatching, but one of the ones that we have in here is called depth. And we might have to use this in half sections because sometimes the hole over here gets projected through and we got we're really seeing too many holes so I'll go to depth and you see right now we're only seeing one hole but it is possible now I'm gonna move this line and you can see when I start moving this line hey move this line alright what that happened here I'll exit that I'll undo it and do that one more you can see when I move the line if you look over here, now there's no backside to this. So let me, and there's my line here and my depth. Now I'm going to have to go to depth again. There it is. Now, if I move it over here, I'm not going to see the backside of this area over here. So I need to kind of move it before this hole over here but after this area here. So I'm going to place it like right there. Boom. And now it doesn't show anything to the left of this depth line. 
it just doesn't even worry about it so it generates the view without that being there and every once in a while you need to do that because you know you don't want to see anything further than that so we have a half section here and uh, a half section remember is a quarter of the section and in later on, if I didn't get this right on the money, I can always come back in here, grab it by the grips, and I can tweak it so that it's right on the money. You know, uh, so I like to just place them in there and then go in there and grab the grips and then edit those things later. So a half section is really one half of a full section, or you can think of it as a quarter section. So. We, to do this, we started with the base command, and we did just the base only. We removed the floating viewport, and then we came into our section views, and we did the half view.